again right through the turn 10 complex and it is that number 12 Zach Veach driven Lexus now where is the Mazda going to catch it yeah, with a bit of luck on the front straight he might get through before turn one and that will be a net gain 100% he will and that will have gained him a little bit of time as well that gained him under, eight tenths under a second and a half now and we know how good that Mazda is through turn one that may come down is coming down on the micro sectors another tenth has disappeared right now 31 is catching down through the S's as well this is going to really lose him time and Harry's he's had the check up bad he's got a Harry's run right him. there he's going to have a run all five. the way down into six oh, at turn five yeah through into turn six and Tinknell was right there. It was good driving by Tinknell. A little bit of an early break from the leader because he's got one of the Porsche heads down, down the inside of seven. In the lead, changes. <laughs> Harry Tinknell goes through. Harry Tinknell goes through with a marvellous, opportunist manoeuvre. Now he's making the hole in the air for the 31 car as they drag past the second of the Porsches. That's the leading GT Le Mans car. Has to defend to the inside. Harry's got to steer to the left. And remember, the 31 car has to keep that position and stay on the track to win the championship. Doesn't need to win the race to win the championship, but has to finish the race. Tinknell, maybe that was the one shot. If it was, he was decisive. He took it like a hot knife through butter. He's through into the lead. 